All right, babe, you ready for this? I'm ready for it. I'm Good. excited. This trip has been over the top. We've spent a little over two weeks on an island with no running water. And Sarah and the girls and Jesse and Jordan and Austin have done absolutely amazing. Now, one thing I promised Sarah and the girls is when we got back, I was gonna bring them to a beautiful, beautiful hotel, which is where we are. We are at the Kensington Hotel in Saipan and I have an unbelievable room set up. I've stayed at the Ritz, I've stayed at the Four Seasons, I've stayed at almost every Las Vegas casino there is, and I've never seen anything like this. So let's go check it out. Oh, yeah, I'll take that one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think, Jesse? This place is amazing. Hi. So, Sarah's getting the lowdown on this room. All I can tell y'all is this is epic. Glass elevator. That's like a little lounge spa area out there with fountains, and then you've got a pool with a natural estuary that comes out of the ocean. And out there are the historic beaches where the US and allied forces came ashore to liberate Saipan on what is known as the Pacific D-Day. And we're getting really way up here. <laughs> All right, are you nervous? Are you excited? I'm excited, I'm not nervous. We were just up hogging, hand washing our clothes. This is gonna be like, I'm Thank you, sir. Everybody here has been so friendly, so amazingly nice. Look at this place. <laughs> Jesse, your skirt blows up. Everyone on YouTube is gonna see it. Mom, look at that. There's all your Royal Point Sienna's right down there. Okay, girls, take it easy now. Go ahead, honey. Hey, babe, Aria, Emma. Emma, give me your scooter. Here, keep your scooter Your scooter has to stay outside. Aria, come on. Okay, here we go. Look how amazing. You're gonna get in. So let me explain the room facility. Okay. And over here is your bathroom over here. Look at this. Oh nice! I'm liking this. Oh you got a little cheap layer up there. How awesome is that? Wow. How amazing is this? So good. Oh, this is so awesome. Look at the bed. You see the bed? We have like multiple places to go out. Is the balcony wrap around you? Yeah, it's like the balcony. Look at the camera. Come out here and check this out. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Mm, love you, honey. Mm, love you too, baby. Good this is stuff. awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> Obviously, if you follow Deer Meat for Dinner, you know that we spend tons of time in the wild doing things just on our own. 
but we are here spending some time at the Fiesta Hotel near Garapan in Saipan. And this is one of their really cool attractions. It's called the Sea Touch. They have stingrays and little sharks and all kinds of cool stuff that we can go out and in a very safe, controlled manner, have fun with Sarah and the girls. So right now, my girls are inside. They're going through like a little class, learning more about the stingrays and the sharks, and then we're gonna go out and dive with them. So this is me being a tourist. All right, so you guys want to come on in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Welcome. Come on, babe. Hold on, I want to jump on. You're going to love this. That's cool, huh? It's really cool. It's soft. And feel underneath. It's even softer underneath. Sort of hold it like this, and you can feel how it's, feel how, feel how it's got the little Stay ribs. I've, I was born and raised doing just stuff like this. I've always wanted to touch everything. Like, if you're watching this video, do you know what a lobster feels like? Like a main lobster or a spiny lobster? Or do you know what a stingray feels like? Or a shark? Or the side of a billfish? Those were all things that I wanted to learn. I wanted to be a part of. I wanted to touch. I wanted to feel. I wanted to learn about. And now, with my girls, they want it too. But they're only two and four years old. So I don't want to thrust them in there and be like, just do it! I want, to, I want to make this digestible. I want to make this understandable. I want to make this something that's fun for them. Because the more fun it is, the more they're going to enjoy it. And whenever I ask them, just try it. Trust me. And then they try it and it's cool and it's fun. Then you start instilling that trust. And as a family, as a father, as a mother, and as our family, we try to instill that trust, like taste it, try it, touch it. If you try it, taste it, touch it, do it, and don't like it, fine, but at least try it. So right now, at first they were very, very apprehensive, didn't want to touch it, didn't want to do it. Let them sit out, just let Sarah and I, I mean, to me, I mean, I think that's the first time I've ever been around stingrays that I could just casually touch and pet. I thought it was amazing. But now, as they started to realize, oh my gosh, mom and dad are enjoying this. Jesse, the other lady, everyone's starting to enjoy it. Then they wanted to be a part. Now, now Aria has her mask on. She's able to be in the water. I find much more comfort being in the water where I can look around and see. And so now both the girls are in the water. Their apprehension, their tension, their anxiety is down and they're starting to enjoy it. Oh, he just gave you a kiss on the lips. <laughs> you got a stingray kiss. Now I want them just to enjoy as much as I can, and I'm gonna go be a part of it. Well, as many of you may already know, we've made it back to Florida. The Northern Mariana Islands are about 8,500 miles that way. And after getting home, Sarah and I have just reflected on how amazing that trip was for us individually, for us as a couple, and for us as a family. We did so many things that we will never, ever forget. One of the things I really enjoyed was watching Sarah and the girls out on the beach. Just walking along the beaches of Poggin, you could find old bullets from World War II you could see the Japanese bunkers and all the amazing wildlife. Awesome. I found a half of one, but I didn't pick it up because it didn't match. That's so cool. Yeah. You can buy your special treasures in it. See, look, I found a bullet, another bullet. All right, first find of the day, blue buoy. The kids will totally play catch with this thing. Put it in my pocket. View, I can't even like describe it. I feel like I'm like looking through a TV screen. It does not feel real. It's really cool. And the waves are crashing against the rocks and the sun is hitting it just right. Oh, you guys, I wish you could be here. But what's really hard to believe was the fishing. I mean, we caught so many fish on that trip that I couldn't possibly put them all into one video. So here's something that has not been seen yet. Catching yellowfin tuna one after the other on the poppers. 
And this time, oh! it's my crew's turn. Oh! Oh! It keeps coming. <laughs> this is so Paul. Hey, Paul's got one back here. Thanks for the lure, Brooksy. <laughs> nice. Once our fish holds were full and all the ice was used, we headed back. Once we got to Poggin, we did it, y'all. We went all the way to Mog, Asinchon, Agrigon. Now we're back to Pogon. Can't wait to see my girls. Such a surreal feeling. It is so amazing. Honey! It was so exciting getting to see my family, and then we started cutting fish. So we just got back to Pog, and Sarah's busy doing laundry. Everyone's just living life. Gov's here. Did we have fun? <laughs> Mayor's here. This is June. We've had so much fun together. This is all about island seafood. Oops, sorry about that. Lay that sucker down right there. Man, I can't wait to eat this. You like to eat fresh fish? Oh, yes, sir. What do you do primarily when no one else is around? Is it with hunting or crafting? Crafting? Like, what do you what do you craft? Uh, Spandle shells for jewelry, necklaces, bracelets, earrings. Really? Yeah. That's what I'm wearing right That's now. That's what you're wearing right now. <laughs> so I love it. <laughs> Look how nice this is gonna be coming off of there. Beautiful, nice. beautiful piece of tuna. So you can hear the generator in the back. That's giving us power to charge our batteries, charge up some of our lights and whatnot, but that's the only power we have on this island. There you go, that's what you're looking for. And when you cook it, you want this meat to be down like that. Woo, it's gonna be good, y'all. Pull out a piece of that fish like that. Season it up. Throw it on there. Only thing left is black pepper. Good deal. There's something about the flavor of a coconut husk, the coconut meat. As it smokes, it's, a, it's so good. Tuna is one of those fish that you can cook it well done, medium, however you want it, it's good. You take a little bottle of water, poke a hole in the top, put soy sauce in it, and then you can just So what you're seeing right here, everyone just kicked back around camp. That's what the Northern Islands is all about. It's about family, fellowship, community, and enjoying the land. This man right here, June. He actually, really, truly lives off the land. That's not a joke. Like, doesn't need anything. No electricity, no nothing. We're gonna take some sauce. This is soy sauce. This is a pepper that's ground up. There's a bunch of spices in there. I'm gonna add some wasabi. And then we're gonna put that right in there. 
This is gonna be really well done, but you know what? Someone will enjoy it. Now this is gonna be a little more on the medium side, which is kind of how I was wanting it. It's been a real honor to get to know you and awesome, Rob. spend Thank time you. with you, my friend. It's amazing, it's an amazing journey. <laughs> Feel free to eat that with your fingers too. Oh, That's yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> mm. oh. Ray stuff. When you give a full plate and then the result is this. Empty? Lucky. He was think? either very hungry or the food was pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> we said something on the way back. Someone asked us, who asked? I don't remember how. So they said, hey, when are you going home? Gov says, wherever my family is, that's home. And I couldn't agree more. Great thing about the governor and the mayor is that they are family people and they're all about the community. You know, whether it's your family or the people that you represent, man. You both do an amazing job and it's an honor to call you all a friend. It means so much to me that you take this time to follow this journey and be a part of our lives. Go, thanks for making it all happen, brother. Thank you, and uh, thank you for his great meal. Uh, I was talking to the mayor about it. We catch tunas, we catch all kinds of fish, but all your cooking we've never tried before. And not only that it tastes good, it's actually going to change the way we cook. Oh, God. Yeah. So, uh, hope you enjoy, because we are. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. You guys, I love you, man. I appreciate you. Honey, what do you think? Amazing. Incredible, and I don't want to leave. I'm really sad, so don't tell me because I'm going to cry. All right, y'all. That's all I got for you today. Take care. God bless. The journey continues, but for now, we're gone. <laughs>